Hi, Kim. Hi, Dave. How are you? Good. What's your name? Kim Corcoran, HR Executive Secretary. Wow. You do a lot of stuff. Human Resources, Executive Secretary. Keeps me busy. You do the facilities too, right? That's correct. And who do you report to? I report to David Markham. Me? I do. The Executive Director. That is correct. And I understand that I'm retiring uh, December 23rd. That's what I've been told. <laughs> and, and I know as the Human Resources Director, you've been working hard on the uh, succession plan. I have been. So uh, could you tell me a little bit about what that consists of and what you've been doing and what the plan is to uh, get a new Executive Director for Jacasa? Yeah, well we work with a great board of directors who are very um, interested in getting the best candidate possible for the vacancy. So what we did is we posted and advertised in August for the um, upcoming vacancy. I received emails, uh, correspondence via the regular mail system um, of approximately 20 resumes. And we have a board meeting in September, uh, the end of September. Uh, a selection committee that was appointed by the board will uh, be sitting down and starting to review resumes with anticipation to start interviews beginning of October and hopefully to be able to offer a position beginning of November with a start date hopefully beginning of December. Yeah, that'd be terrific, huh? I think it's very exciting. Do we have any internal candidates? We have two in internal candidates, um, our current director of treatment and our current director of prevention. Right, and then uh, so that means there's 18 external candidates too, huh? This is correct. Right, so how, how does that actually work? Uh, somebody's going through the resumes and they're going to decide who's the most qualified and that kind of thing and then... Uh, we did have um, requirements as part of the posting, so uh, um, I have and I'm hoping the board will use a rating system to um, immediately maybe possibly eliminate candidates that don't meet the requirements and then we'll um, just by looking through them I see we've got probably at least a half to a dozen or so of those resumes immediately um, meet the qualifications. So we've got a really good selection that we're going to be looking through and um, they're going to break it down into um, the top candidates and then schedule interviews from there. Right. So the board committee, the board search committee will be meeting um, for the first time actually uh, on Wednesday the 28th after their board meeting. That's correct. And they're probably going to decide who's going to be on that committee, uh, although they pretty much decided that. And they'll probably be looking through the resumes, do you think, uh, yes. to decide who they want to interview in the first round of that interviews? Is my hopes that this will start happening as soon as um, we convene after the board meeting. So they'll have those interviews and then if they can narrow it down to two or three candidates and they'll have a second round of uh, interviews exactly. and probably invite people from uh, the Office of Alcoholism and Substance Abuse Services in uh, the western region from Buffalo and maybe the Director of Community Services in Orleans County yeah. and, and Genesee County and any other stakeholders that they think ought to have some input into the final selection. That's exactly correct. Right, so um, it's my understanding that they were hoping to make an offer uh, and, and have it accepted by November 1st, is that right? That is correct. Yeah, because then the person would have to give notice if they're currently employed. Right. And so we've got a little bit of a window there, but hopefully that'll work to our advantage and um, we'll be able to make that offer and have the person start beginning in December. Yeah, briefly, what are the qualifications? Uh, what does it take to be an executive director of an agency like Jacasa? What, what are you asking for in terms of uh, educational background, credentials, experience, that kind of thing? Um, minimally, <coughs> we would need at least a bachelor's in the field of substance abuse. Um, masters would be preferred. Mm -hmm. We look for somebody who has credentials such as um, KSAC, CPP, um, could be uh, other credentials in uh, social work, um, et cetera. At least 10 years experience um, in supervision or administrative responsibilities. Um, and I think that's the, that's the bulk of mm -hmm. what we're looking for, for criteria. What's this job pay? Well, actually, I'm working with a group um, that we um, get some of our financial services from, CCSI. Uh -huh. 
I like to establish a, a benchmark or a salary range. I've actually made contact with Jeff Blood uh -huh. from CCSI, and he is working with me to get a um, established range of salaries for similar type agencies with our similar size budget, which is uh, $4.3 million with 80 to 100 employees. Um, but we were um, establishing or just confirming what we have currently is anywhere between like a 65 to maybe 80 top mm -hmm. thousand annually for a salary range. Mm -hmm. So now this person's going to be your boss. I know. What What are you hoping for in, in, in a new boss? You'll never have anybody as nice I know, and as good I'm as me. I know. I'm that, that would be huge shoes to fill, right? I know. Yeah. It'd be huge. I, I'm going to miss you. I, I really have enjoyed working well, with you. You've made my so. job very easy. You've given me the flexibility to be able to do multiple tasks without being very demanding. So I would need somebody that's definitely very organized. Mm -hmm. Um would um, have administrative skills, um, be familiar with just basic Department of Labor uh, information, procedures, um, be familiar, um, somebody who had knowledge of our agency and the programs that we have, because we do have multiple programs, substance as well as prevention, our EAP and our residential, so somebody with a broad knowledge of those programs. Um, somebody definitely with a sense of humor mm -hmm. um, makes the day go that much smoother. Um, I think those are probably some of the... How long have you been here, Kim? I think this will be my 22nd year. My gosh. I so, know. So how many executive directors have you lived through? Two. Two? Two. Just Sharon and me? Yep, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. I've been here 11 years. I think Sharon was here 17 and was executive director 11, wasn't she? Yeah, or something so like that? Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, so yeah. most of your career here, you've only had two executive directors. Now you get your third. It's been a great learning experience. Well, I'll tell you, one of the things, if I've had any success here, I would say 80% of it is due to you. Uh, yeah. You make me look good day in and day out. You know, you uh, do a great job managing the board and uh, uh, public relations stuff you do, and you manage facilities and, uh, you know, always see to it that I have the materials I need and do a great job with the agency records and, uh, uh, you know, whatever success uh, I've had here in the last 11 years, I would give you about 80% of the oh, credit. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed it immensely. You've allowed me to grow in what I've done and. I yeah, and I really feel that you have a good succession plan here. So, uh, as we go, as I go about my last three months here, and we uh, work together with the board, it's the board's responsibility exactly. ultimately to hire an executive director. But I, I feel confident that uh, things will be uh, left in good hands. So it We've allows me to retire board of without. Directors. We've got a slice from both um, of every field profit, not-for-profit, mm -hmm. um, recovery, um, religious, education. We've got a great slice of mm -hmm. experience on the board representing both Genesee and Orleans counties. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just really thrilled that they're so interested in making sure that you know the process is done so that we have the best person put in place. Yeah. Now who, who is on the board that's going to be on the search committee that you know at this point? Well, the executive committee um, were the ones to originate the um, succession plan to formulate it. So that's Sue Rigoni, mm -hmm. uh, Major Kurtz from Salvation Army, and mm -hmm. Loranda Smith. She um, represents part of our Orleans County population. All right. Sue, Sue is the president of the board, and Major Kurtz is the treasurer, and uh, Lorienda Smith is the vice, vice president. president. And then there's a few other board members, too. We're even bringing some out of retirement, aren't correct. we? Correct. Yeah. We had people that recently retired from the board that expressed an interest in being part of the decision-making or involved with the succe succession plan. Um, we have Gary Horton. Um, who is currently on the board? Uh, Gary's Joyce Gary's Davis. yeah Gary's public defender of Genesee County. Correct, Joyce Davis, uh, Genesee County Mental Health, mm -hmm. um, and former employee, so she's mm -hmm. got a great knowledge of the agency. Um, so in addition to them, and then there is um, Scott Hess, Orleans right. County Sheriff, right? And then two former board members, Dan Neal, who mm -hmm. is a longtime board member and. 
past board president, and Lucy Welch, director of probation in Orleans County. That's a powerhouse uh, group there. Yes. Yeah, and with all that brain power, they should do a good job in uh, <clears throat> making a wise decision wise for the leadership for the next, uh, hopefully, 10, 15, 20 years. Who knows how long the person will stay. I hope I'm going in 10-year increments so far. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Kim. Thank you. That's a good outline, and thanks for all your good work. I look forward to um, having you come back and visit us. All right. Bye. Thank you.